What's up, people? Welcome back to Freaky Name Live. My name is Dinesh. Today we are watching King of the Hill. This is the episode 22 of season two. It's called uh, Peggy's Turtle Song. So maybe Peggy, as we all know, is mostly a substitute teacher in the school. Maybe some teacher is gonna be on their day off today, and she's gonna take over, and she's gonna teach kids a turtle song. Also, let's talk about the previous episode in which Hank broke the the safety railing or whatever it's called, so the cars won't hit the audience. With just one kick, he just kicked that bastard, got and gone inside, and pick up that boss, Bobby's boss, because he almost was trying to kill Bobby. And Hank was like, "Uh, uh, uh, let me just go pass through this road while there are like 20 cars coming right through me and kick their boss's ass." That's Hank Hill. I mean, Hank won't listen to his kid because Hank would think, "No, his kid is doing the wrong thing." But when he finds out that who's actually wrong, goddamn, he can kick some ass. Well, without any further ado, we're going to jump right into this episode. If you're not subscribed to my channel, guys, please do it. Subscribe. Let's hear our first 10,000 subscribers. And if you want to watch a full-length reaction video of this episode, another reaction that I do, head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel. Get early access to all of my full-length reaction videos over there. We're going to start this in 3, 2, 1. Grandma, you put the cookies back in breakfast. Okay. I'm sorry, honey, but I don't have time to cook you breakfast. Here. Promise me that you'll eat two bowls. It is the most important meal of the day. He already had it though. <laughs> He's like, okay, fine. Mom said so. Grandma. Oh shit. Is there caffeine in it? God oh, damn, maybe it is. Did your mom have time to cook your breakfast before she left? No. no. Oh jeez. We got any cereal? I believe we do. It's the sugar rush, isn't it? <laughs> that oatmeal? Ooh. Better put some sugar on that. More sugar? No! Uh oh, okay. As you all know, Mother's Day is coming up, and I thought it might be fun to talk about some of the. <laughs> throughout history, I who. Own slaves. Uh, oh my god, what? No. What I was going to. Going to say? Yes, what I was going, going to, to say, say. Going to say, we heard the preview, now get to the feature. Oh shit. Bobby. 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 Bobby's on cocaine. <laughs> Mr. Hill, I've diagnosed your son with attention deficit disorder. He's probably no. had it for years. What? <laughs> he is having just sugar rush. You know, I have noticed the boy's mind wanders sometimes when I'm lecturing him. A mental disorder would explain that. No, that's every other kid. Like, that's me, too. The many popular ADD medications now available. I don't like the idea of putting my boy on drugs. Isn't there some kind of operation? <laughs> Your only other... <laughs> yeah, no medicine. No drugs. Is there a surgery? Let's get him open. Let's cut the boy open. What if this is all my fault? A mother should be there for her baby when he's in trouble. Sometimes I think I should just quit my job and devote myself full time to being a mother. Oh. But hey, no. Fine. Quit my job? That's crazy okay. talk. Why did Hank became happy? I'll tell you what, Peggy, my yeah. own mom never worked in her life. Home, that's what mattered to her, and she just kept making it stronger every day until the divorce. <laughs> Hank, if you'll support me on this, oh, he baby, wants I'll you do to, it. He wants you to quit your job. Now, I know we've talked <laughs> a lot Hank about how you should this. never do drugs, but from now on, you'll be you taking medication be after every meal. So... Do I smoke it or snort it or what? <laughs> Bobby, how, why do you know all this? <laughs> so, I guess I'll just pop it then. You will not pop it. You will place it in your mouth. <laughs> you will not pop it. Mm -hmm. Here you Any go, my little... Treat, man? Now that I'm not working, I had time to make you pancakes, oh, God damn. eggs and bacon, arranged in one of three facial expressions depending upon your mood. Well, I guess... Wow, I all right. Well, Bobby, this is it. You're going to take your first pill now. And in about a half hour, you should find yourself real interested in stuff that would normally bore the pants off. <laughs> oh, he's scared. Round and round and round it goes when... Pop the pill, Bobby. Pop the pill. Nose. Well, what have we here? Just pop the pill, Bobby. <laughs> Feel anything yet? Starting to... Maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe he is. Yep. He can, hear, he can hear the fly. Just gotta drop by Earl's and get Betsy some new strings. You're leaving the house? You don't have to come, Peggy. I'm sure. Oh, she wants to. You just stay here and relax. Let's go! 
Oh, God damn. Okay, jeez. Funny. I never saw Peggy as the stay-at-home type. Well, she's got two full-time jobs now, wife and mother. It's longer hours and less pay, but you don't hear me complaining. No <laughs> uh, seriously, though, we're loving it. <laughs> no, she's not. She's becoming more like Bobby on meds. Is she gonna make a song? Hmm. What makes you want to play music, Peggy? Well, my husband and I recently had to make a choice between our child and my career. And it's left me with some time to fill. My husband and I had to make a choice. I thought I was doing when I started playing music. Turned out I was really looking for a voice to scream with. Well, I don't know if my husband would appreciate screaming in the house, but let's see. Ah! Oh, God damn it. She wants to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shit. Okay. So, Peggy, you joined... Guitar lessons just to scream, goddamn. There's some milk in the fridge that's about to go bad. And there it goes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a lucky man, Hank. You know, my ex-wife, she was a careerist, you know, and one day I had to say to her, Honey, make a choice. It's either me or the motivational poster industry. Well, there it goes. Boy, I wish choice. I hadn't said that. <laughs> Problem is, don't you? Feminism? Gloria Steinbrenner, that's what started it. Gerald Ford should have killed her when he had the chance. She got green hair. I thought you said family values were in at your house. So. Yeah, heck, that, that gal there, she dressed kind of pro choice. <laughs> pro choice. So what? There once was a turtle that lived in her shell. The shell was her home and her prison as well. That was pretty good though. Whoa, there's definitely something to that. It is pretty good. The voice is pretty good though. You know, I had a feeling it was very, very good. Every girl band deserves funding. Great, I will remember that. <laughs> Looks pretty interesting. And by interesting, I mean weird. Well, she I mean, is weird. Pro choice, pro woman choice. I invited her over for dinner tomorrow. What? Now, why in the world would you do something like that? Well, because she has a tattoo, Hank. Don't you think a girl like that could use a home-cooked meal? <laughs> what does that... What? What is it supposed to be? <laughs> When's my next pill? Not until after dinner, honey. I'm gonna take a little nap, please. Paying attention all day tires me Bobby. out. Look at... Look at Bobby. He's sleeping with his eyes open. He's sleeping with his eyes open. Nobody tells cares. me you've been helping to write music, working with her and putting ideas in her head and such. What the fuck is that supposed to be? Why would anyone want to take a pot shot at Mother's Day? <laughs> well, it's kind of bizarre, don't you think? The greeting card companies invented this holiday in 1914, and now the whole country celebrates another stereotype of what women are supposed to be. You're not married, are you, Emily? <laughs> And why are you always pro woman to us? Just let us take care of everything. So she won't have to use her brain at all, then? That's right. Interesting. Uh oh, she's picking up. Frightened and wanted to hide. So she tucked her head into the. Come on, Hank, you can support her. You can support your wife. Hide. Uh, Hank, you are groaning every time I sing a line. Oh, am I? I'm sorry. I thought I was doing that in my head. And I'll tell you one thing, you need to put something upbeat in there. Upbeat? No. No, that would never work in this song. Sure it would. You just tack something on at the end where it all works out. Like? The girl turtle could meet a guy turtle and fall in love. See, then the song is really about something. Can you no, see that? The song shouldn't be always be about love. Oh, old-fashioned, Hank. Yes, old-fashioned as in good. <laughs> <gasps> New Ann's home. Oh, he, he, he's more, becoming more like the dog. Last night, I dreamt we had 20 children. Peggy, oh, you know I can't give you more children? Because of the urethra? Oh, urethra. Hank, I don't think that's what it meant at all. Well, forgive me, but I don't know what anything means anymore. I thought we agreed... She just means that... She just means that... 
she's dreaming that she's becoming more attached to the house, but she wanna go out and do a work. Big step backwards together. Uh, but it sounds like you'd rather play punk music with your punk. hippie friends on boring old Mother's Day. Well, it is my day. I should be able to do whatever I want. Well, yeah, that is true. You can't kill a man, <laughs> then you'd end up in prison. <laughs> Thank you for that. We're not doing brunch, Mom. Peggy decided she'd rather go to a rock concert. Oh, mother? <laughs> rock concert. It's not a concert. Peggy's just not like you, I guess. You devoted your whole life to raising me, and let's be honest, you loved every second of it. Nope. Well, actually, Hank, I took odd jobs, you know, as often as I could. Oh, okay. To get out of the house. Don't you remember that year I drove a taxi? No. <laughs> Uh, Gary's here with my Mother's Day present. But wait, Mom. I, I love you too. What is the present? Oh. I hope you like it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Fucking Gary. I tried to study for my beauty exam, but I couldn't concentrate. And then I tried to figure out why and... Take the pill. Take the pill, Luan. Bobby, I've <laughs> got a test tomorrow morning. Or... Have some pill. Or evening or something. Bobby, I need that pill. Oh, shit, okay. Anything? Look, she achieved a lot and she wanna be known for her achievements and her things that she have done. <laughs> Only there's no schedule left anymore. Hi mom! Bobby! Honey, what are you doing here? Well, we figured today was your special day. And since you're singing a special song... Oh, is this dad guitar? Betsy. Hey, I want you to give a lot of support to our next artist, Peggy Hill, everybody. Let's go, Peggy. Let's hear that turtle song. Song about how a woman feels when the world tells her who she has to be. Huh? Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> About the turtle that's stuck in her shell. <laughs> and I'd like to dedicate this to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> there once was a turtle who lived in her shell. The shell was her home and her prison as well. Oh, let's go. That's nice words. Okay. Yeah. One day she got frightened. Yeah. Nice movement. Nice camera movement. That's right. Woo! Woo! But then came a moment of terror. She can sing well. She can sing very well than me. Any head hole to poke out. Give her the control for you. I thought this song was just about a turtle, Dad. <laughs> Me too. I'll take your neck out, girl. Come on, think you're mine. Look what he's doing to you. Oh, he's not doing that. Do it, Peggy, from the heart. I mean, he was doing, yeah, he did say to quit your job. But a miracle saved her before her heart sang. The magical love of a turtle. Oh, it's crying. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. You kind of copped out at the end there, didn't she? No, they all were looking for a song that, like, it's an independent woman song. I tell you, today I really noticed his behavior improve. Uh, because he stopped taking the pill. Take my medicine today. What? Why not, honey? Because Luann needed it. Badly. And anyway, I can't take the rush anymore. It's too fast and like, uh. breezy. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home. I cooked your brunch and I tuned your car and I fixed your mower and I ate the brunch. I ate brunch, okay. Read a little more about that medicine hike? Yeah. Yeah, couldn't hurt. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, she did a really good job with the grass and all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luan's gone crazy. Alrighty, people, so that was this episode of King of the Hill. <sighs> well, Bobby got the pill for the ADD, and, uh, hmm, which I personally have never taken them, but there was a time in my life in college where I thought maybe I should start taking them so I would be more focused 
because apparently this is what i all thought like if you take that medicine you will be focused on one thing if you're studying you will keep studying and studying and studying and i'm glad i didn't took it because i'm i'm not i don't have add and if you have add um yeah you should you should take them but sometimes you get wrongly diagnosed like here you know poor bobby was just having a sugar rush no he has add he got to take give him a pill to slow him down it's too fast it's going to become a flash in a moment <laughs> meanwhile hank is like are we sure we got you have to take we have to give him drugs we can open up the boy and do an operation or something no hank what the fuck but that was the second last episode of king of the hill the last episode is called propane boom part 1 where's part 2 is the next season part 2 yeah that's the i think in the next season but well, all right guys hope you guys have a great day that was this episode and uh, if you like this if you enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up go check out my patreon if you want to watch the full length reaction video and get early access of the videos and that is it for today guys hope you guys have a great day i will see you guys tomorrow